over Alan West. Coming to the stage. Down here on a bus, or yeah, we came down with AFP. Let's see, then we're going to take some gazing. Hi, I'm Bruce. Mark, Mark, Mark. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. You've definitely seen him all over the place. Yeah, so he's basically all over the place. That's what happens when you're under a pole. Let me get a picture. Sure. Let me get my propaganda. He also made this. Are you selling them? T shirts? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Who owns it? Oh, that's good. That's a good t-shirt, too. If you're willing to wear this, I'll just send it to you. Sure, I'll wear one. Especially in the summer. Maybe I'll lose a little weight first. <laughs> Y'all going back tonight? Yeah. Going back in five. This life till five. Uh, I think so. Well, they did like, some sort of reception with a couple of like, and for everybody or just the people on your bus? Just the people on, uh, I guess, I guess just uh, the people on the bus. So. We're, we're with New Jersey. Yeah. Right. No, I saw there was a bus from there and I saw there was one from Staten Island. Yeah, we had 15 buses in Lonnie, he's more of a libertarian. So he's good to deal with. Is he a state legislator or a congressman? Uh, no, he's a. I, I think he's a state legislator. What did Steve Lonigan do? He uh, was mayor of Bogota, as the voter. And, you know, took their budget from good to good. And it's a 70% Democratic district. He ended up getting reelected by a huge margin. And he's head of New Jersey AFP. He ran for governor so, against uh, Christie. He lost like eight points in the primary to oh Christie wow. for governor. So New Jersey is a state people actually might start moving back to, or at least moving there from New York. Maybe. I wouldn't hold my breath though. So no? It's pretty bad. We're trying to move. It's still New Jersey. I'm from New York. Um, <laughs> 
Well, I know some people from New Jersey who just moved to Austin. Oh. That guy who did the Haynes, uh, the High Haynes rap video. Oh, the last time I saw it, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think he was from New Jersey and not Philadelphia. I think he just worked in Philadelphia. But I could be wrong. Maybe he's from Pennsylvania, but I think he's from New Jersey. Did you make the cut for me? Is it the top of my head in one scene? Yeah, it's not really. <laughs> no, I can like way in the background. I mean, only in that, you know, my name is in the list of people who are allegedly in it. But. I think the video is kind of shitty. <laughs> The quality looked good, but the song is cheesy. I didn't like the way it made the uh, high man. Apparently, he's got funding to do more, I think. Oh, and, and it's very popular. People look at it, so. Hey, you got a book bag, right? Yes, sir. Can you see that? There's Phil Kirpin. Do you know who this guy is? The guy ahead of us? He's actually probably from New Jersey originally, the guy in the suit and the blue shirt but no tie. That's Phil Kirpin, the guy who runs AFP. One of the people who runs it. It's cool that he's uh, mingling with the hoi polloi. <laughs> but his hoi polloi, it's his job. And that guy over there with the navy blue blazer with the red kerchief in it, off in the distance kind of. He's tall. He's got, that's Seton Motley. Um, who used to work with Brett Mazzell at Media Research Center, and then, I, I almost have to stop taping this to say this, but he kept getting called back to be on Fox all the time to represent Media Research Center, and the other people there got jealous and sacked him. So he went off and started his own thing, and it's called, uh, it's called like America's for Women to Government, so I mean, he has a website. It's kind of um, libertarian conservative fusionist. He's a, he's a nice guy. I tell you, what, 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 what's killing on women more than anything is this jealousy bullshit. It's just like, I, it makes you want to throw up. But it honestly does. You're used to it, I know, but like, I feel like it's just like, Well, I've been around a long time. It never goes away for, for crying out loud. Now this latest scandal with, uh, with Kato is crazy, too. Yeah. The next, the next scandal that will happen is... Gary Johnson will get nominated to be the Libertarian Party candidate. They will be automatically, because they've already achieved it by working on it for years and years, on the ballot in like at least 48 or 49 states. You should. Oh, the Libertarian Party has ballot status on this everywhere. It doesn't have it in D.C., but it has, it has automatic ballot status lots of places, and it's organized enough to petition to do what you need to do to get it other places. So they'll be on the ballot everywhere, and Gary might run a kind of left campaign in that he will obviously to some degree talk a lot about gay marriage and about marijuana legalization. This is actually what I was trying to do. I was trying to find that uh, that Atlas Shrugged uh, poster over in the distance. And I, every time I walk around, I can hey, see Joshua. it, but I can't he actually around. get to it. Like, it he, like, I come over here, and then he's over there. I'm over there, and he's over here. Has he, I, I just keep not walking in the right direction. I'm going to hand him one of the cards. Yo, if you get to him here, oh, okay. take a few cards. Sure, give me two, and I'll give him one if I get there. Um, anyway, he... Um, so, so there'll be this huge argument about is Gary pull 